Russia's Defence Ministry claims to have found evidence of chemical weapons used by terrorists in Aleppo. Lizzie Phelan's got more. The Russian Ministry of Defence in a statement released today have said that they've uncovered this new evidence of chemical weapons used from the 1,070 apartments area of South Aleppo, which despite coming back under the control of pro-government forces is still subjected to regular attack uh, by rebel forces. Now, the Ministry of Defence have said that officers from the Russian Radiological, Chemical and Biological Defence Troops Scientific Centre have collected nine samples Samples, including uh, fragments from mines and soil from craters, which they say confirms that both white phosphorus and chlorine gas, gas has been used in the weapons that rebels are using on their frequent attacks on civilian areas in the government-held western parts of the city. The Russian Ministry of Defense spokesman General Igor Konoshenkov also complained that the Organization for the Prohib Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, or the OPCW, has so far offered no cooperation uh, in regards to these uh, allegations. It's not the first time that the Ministry of Defense have alleged chemical weapons use they did so also earlier this month. Despite the invitation to work together, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons has not yet sent its experts to Aleppo. However, this does not prevent some OPCW members from remotely placing blame and failing to recognize the facts of the use of chemical weapons in Aleppo against the civilian population. Now, both the government and the opposition for some, for, for some time now have been trading uh, accusations about chemical weapons use. When I was in the government uh, held West Aleppo in September, I met uh, doctors from the public hospitals there who said that they'd received uh, many cases of uh, victims of rebel shelling who had displayed symptoms of having inhaled uh, chlorine gas. But back to these allegations from the Ministry of Defense today, we will indeed be waiting to see if the OPCW indeed responds or reacts to this evidence that the Russian Ministry of Defense uh, says that it has collected.